G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video, we're going to make the swing arm on the RMZ125 project look amazing by taking out all the old scratches and damages, giving it a full polish and making it look mint. So, let's get started. This is the swing arm for my RM125. It's a bit scratched up and a bit beaten up. It has a ceramic coating on the outside which is scratched and there's nothing that you can really do with it except send it away and spend lots of money to get it refurbished to the way it was. I don't really want to spend lots of money on this swing arm. So what I'm deciding to do is give the swing arm full polish. That means I have to remove all this ceramic coating, all the scratches and then fully polish the swing arm. I think that will be the best option for this bike. Now I'm going to start by removing the ceramic coating. I'm going to do around the worlds first. I'm going to use the Dremel with this little wire brush just to take the ceramic coating off just around the worlds. And I'll be using different grades of sandpaper to do the flat areas. Now you can see that big wheel on the bench grinder is doing quite a good job on these larger flat areas of taking the uh, ceramic off and I've been using the small wheel on the Dremel just to get in and around the, these welded areas because I don't want to take the pattern out of the welding um, and it seems to be doing quite a good job at taking that out without removing the pattern in the welding. You can see here where it's just had the area with the Dremel done I need to go over it with the big wheel to keep removing this ceramic coating. Okay, I finally got the ceramic coating off the swing arm. Now it's time to go over with some different grades of sandpaper. Okay, I've got different grades of sandpaper here. I'll start off with a coarse one, a 360, then I'll go to a 600, and this one here is an ultra fine one, about a 2000 grit. Now what I need to do is get rid of all of these 
uh, scratching marks and stuff like that with the coarser paper and then work my way down and make the swin arm smoother and smoother and smoother and get it ready for polish. Okay, I've got a new plan of attack. The other way was just taking way too long. I've got some 240 grit dry paper on this little sander and I've been hitting it over and it's taking that rough edging just off it just enough and I think that will be much better way to go. I um, won't be able to get into all areas but I should be able to get the majority of the large areas done and get the deep scratches out. <laughs> Okay, after hitting it with the sander it's come up a lot better. This will be much smoother and easier for the wet sandpaper now. Problem is I couldn't get in there with in, in these tight areas with that sander so there's still a lot of hard work and rubbing and stuff like that to get through this sort of areas. Now that I've hit it with all the different grades of sanding paper, it's time to start getting it with some polish. I'm just going to use some metal polish that's in the tube here and on the Dremel. I'm just going to start on the welded edges and get the welded edges up first. Finally started to come up looking really good now.
Watch this video next or go to the Broken Sprocket video library and choose another top video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. After all, it's for free and guaranteed to make your day 20% better. If you're already a subscriber and you're having a bad day, just think it could have been 20% worse. You can also follow Broken Sprocket on Instagram. So, I'll see you in the next video.